Hello, it's Dr. Triple O Seven, and in today's video, I want to show you guys a pretty cool software called Switchblade. It's a completely free application. It's portable, USB utility, and what it's made for is to be able to bring on a flash drive to different computers to help diagnose problems. Some of the features it has, as available on the website, it says Windows Log Grabber, RAM and IP Info Viewer, IP Config Tools, Driver Management Tools process monitor, uninstaller, and some software updater. Under the screenshots, they have what it looks like basically, but I'll show you guys that later. If you go to the official website, which will be below in the description, you can go ahead and click to get it from SourceForge. And then next to looking for the latest version, it will give you the latest version of the software. Click that right there, and it will download. I've already downloaded it which is this right here. So once it's downloaded, you can go ahead and open it up. It's a self-extracting hard drive, or a uh, file, so just by default, it's going to um, extract to the, where this file is located. You can change that, or you can just click extract. Now what it is, it's going to have this file and two folders, or three folders, sorry, and just bring all those files, or just the main one, on a flash drive, and it will work perfectly. So it's just finished something extracting here. Alright, so now you can go ahead and delete this file right here. And then open up the main page here. And now we have Switchblade. So under security, or on the side here, system information, we have our RAM, megabytes, our IP address, and our host name of the computer. Below here we have our tech support chat, which is just our people talking. You can go ahead and pop in and ask questions. Or anything like that. You can also have it come up as a support job like that. Under security tools, you have Microsoft Security Essentials, TrueCrypt, which allows you to encrypt hard drives or create a drive with encrypted information in it. System tools, I think this is the most useful area right here. You have things like Notepad, which is fully functioning. You can add and save files and open them. You can uh, use the error lookup, which is a pretty soft, useful uh, thing here. Basically, enter in any error code that you uh, would get from a Microsoft message. Type it in there, and it's going to explain what it is. Last Activity View is a cool software that allows you to uh, see what the last things that were done. So you can see that the last things that I have done are opening up TrueCrypt and open up the software. And you can see it's pretty cool because now if something goes wrong, open the software up and you can see the last things you've done and retrace the steps you've done, maybe seeing if you did something wrong. Also, you get things like Process Hacker, which tells you what's up with the computer, what's running, what's not. And you can go ahead and options with the services, change all this stuff, turn it to tree, resume, restart, blah, blah, blah. A bunch of stuff that... Um, a task manager would do, but this is more an advanced task manager. You have some simple stuff like a media player where you can just open up like a DVD, movies, um, stuff like that. App Crash View, this is a program that tells you exception codes of the last crashing software that you've run. So things like 7TSP, um, Camtasia Studio, stuff like that. Resource Hacker also, Resource Hacker is a software that allows you to open up um, EXE, anything, DLL, etc. And allows you to go through and like, see their icons and stuff like that. You also have Ultra Defrag, which is a defragging software that allows you to analyze your hard drives and tells you how much they're defragged by using this awesome little chart right here. And it gives you the uh, list below. So like I said guys, this is a program that has many programs inside of it, and it's basically for um, simple diagnostics. So you also have things like the K-Lite Codec Pack where you can easily install by clicking that and going next throughout. You also have the networking tool, which is things like Web Browser, which is a built-in web browser, which is very useful. You can bring it anywhere you like. Have some tabs inside here, so here we're on YouTube. Works perfectly. 
and uh, you also have things like private browsing mode and stuff like that. So it's really useful to have a, a um, your own browser on a flash drive. You also have the option to ping Google using the default CMD, which allows you to see your internet connection, stuff like that. Under the other tab, we have some useful links like Google Search, uh, NVIDIA drivers, Radeon drivers, TrueCrypt tutorial. And if you go ahead, you can go to Log Grabber and you can highlight the ones you want, then click Grab Information. It tells you where it's saved, which is in the Logs folder. So you can go to Logs, and boom, now you can go to Windows Update Log. And you can see all the logs that I've updated my Windows system. So this is very useful for people diagnosing a system. They can tell last time it was updated, what the update did, and possibly go back and uninstall it. Anyways guys, that's about it for this video. Like I said, this is a program called Switchblade. Um, obviously as this program develops, more things can be added, but it's for diagnosing some simple tools, and it's a great flash drive utility to keep on your flash drive at all times. Anyways guys, that's about it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy, and besides that, have a great day, and see you in my next video. This is Tackle Triple 07, and I am signing off.